Hey guys, I'm John with JK Rants and Reviews, and today I've got a huge collection update video from uh, Hasbro's Power Up uh, sale, uh, from Target sales, and from some Walmart sales that I picked up. I'm super excited. I've been sitting on these for a little while, so I have not had time to get to them. So let's start cutting. Always cut away. All right, so first up, we have a metallic Blue Ranger from Season 3 of Power Rangers. Uh, super glad to have this. Look at the box. It's got some nice glitter on it. Um, mm, some scuffs. Not too bad, though. Uh, they updated the helmets on these. Looks good. Uh, Billy there, his face. I don't know about that. Comes with a Zeo crystal. Uh, I, 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 this is a really good looking figure. Better than I thought it was going to be. Next up, we got the Metallic Black Ranger with Adam there and his Zeo Crystal that he comes with anyway. Uh, again, uh, real sparkly, very nice. Looks nicer than the Legacy version. Um, yeah, box has got a little bit of scuffs, nothing too bad. Looking good, super excited for that. And there's a pattern. We got Aisha's Yellow Metallic Ranger. Also looking really good. Metallic solid on there. A little see-through, but not too bad. The see-through is like my biggest pet peeve of these and then the legacy figures. Just did not like that. But looks pretty cool. And let's see what else we got here. God, it's been so long. I kind of... Whoa! There it goes. Next, we've got the Pink Ranger. Looking good there. Then once again, a little see-through, but not too bad. Not as bad as the Legacy. And this is obviously Cap from Season 3. Uh, Amy Jo Johnson did not make it to the Metallics. And... There we go. Rocky, Season 3 Metallic. With the updated head sculpt on that one as well. I think the Pink Ranger may or may not. I can't remember. But yeah, that looks good. Loving that. The White Ranger is... Available overseas in Malaysia, so it's going to be a minute till we get that. What else we got here? Oh, yeah. We've got Eye Guy. Wow, that thing's heavy. Um, I was not going to buy him. Um, I have the 5-inch the version, the old school one. I thought was good enough, but um, pretty cool figure. I think it was like 20 bucks after the 40% off, so I was like, well, why not? Let's just pick it up. I will do an unboxing video of that, um, and I will paint it. Or, excuse me, I'll give it a black wash. Uh, and we'll take a look and see how that turns out. And then I went ahead and got another COG 2-pack from Zeo. I hope they released the villains. That would go real nice next to them. And my Rita and Zed. And the last thing in the box, you can't see it's what all this stuff is resting on. I didn't think of that very well. But it is the Lord Zed helmet. Um, I already have one. I bought an extra one. The one I bought came scuffed, but it was a pretty good deal. So I just thought I'd buy another one. I recently picked up the Lightning Collection Pink Helmet. I'm going to try to get my wife to take a picture wearing it since everything I've seen, nobody can actually wear them because they're pretty small. So maybe small ladies can wear them, but we'll give that a shot. Got this from Target on their super sales recently, and that is Perantis Head. Was not going to buy this one either. I have the old school 8 inch PVC figure I thought was good enough. But with that one, I thought I'd pick it up. I'll give it a black wash, see how it turns out. Here's the, the one I had. You can see the, the upgrades. This one wasn't too bad, though. It looks fine next to the rest of them. They're all about the same height, so. And also from the Target sale, got one of these guys. Got TJ here from In Space with his uh, Galaxy Glider. Uh, I bought uh, six of these. <laughs> Not from there, but from eBay, from other people and things like that. So I will be having a collection video uh, of my in space figures, and I will do a custom video of all the gliders once I'm done painting those, so that will be fun. Whoop. What do we got next? Let's switch over to Walmart real fast. Growing up, I like Transformers, but I love Beast Wars, and the Optimus Prime here was uh, Optimus Primal, excuse me. Was 20 bucks down from like 60 or something like that, 56. 
So thought it'd look really cool. I kind of have a retro old school shelf, so he'll go nicely there. And I've got a cool uh, old school uh, Optimus where I can't get to him right now, but he's cool. Um, and then, all right, bought these right before the Target sale, and the Target sale came out, and it was a really good deal, but that's okay. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But we have Ninjetti Black Ranger. Again, Adam was not going to buy these, but the deals were so good I couldn't pass them up. And then we've got the Ninjetti Blue Ranger. Then we've got the, whoops, light, Ninjetti Pink Ranger, and Ninjetti White. Yellow and red are also out in Malaysia, so it's going to be a minute before I get those. When I get those, I'll do a collection of all these. Um, these are awesome figures, especially if you can get them for under 20 bucks. Uh, can't pass that up. This was on sale. It was $15. If you watch some of our videos, I normally have a, a jacket on or something like that with these pins, these pop pins, I think are really cool. And this is one of the coolest dinosaurs in the original Jurassic Park. So, uh, Dilophosaurus. And then we got a Yoda, old school Yoda. Also $15 down to five. So, you'll see me wearing that eventually. A little more. And that is the Grogu and the Mandalorian. Pretty cool. I love that chrome. I've got an Iron Man that's chrome, and they're just so cool. Not sure I like the flames on there, but everything else is pretty sweet. Down from ten dollars down to three dollars. Batman from the Batman. Thought that looked pretty cool. I was gonna buy the twenty dollar figure, but a they didn't have any, and b it it just wasn't that impressive. I actually think this looks better than the than the expensive one. Uh, I'm excited about this next one because I would have definitely needed to buy this on a super sale. Get in there. Nope, it ain't having it. Ah, but. The Bat Cycle. The Bat whatever. Bat Cycle, yeah. From the Batman, dude. How cool is that thing? I got to get one of those smaller figures now uh, and, and put him on top of that if he goes on there, dude. That motorcycle is just sweet. I love those ears at the top there, even though it could kind of kill you if you had to hit the brakes or whatever. Put that guy right there. Stay. <laughs> Um, is that it? Oh, ah, yep, more from the Target sale. And Caleb, I bought two of these, so if you want one, from $30 down to $8.99, $10 for you, Caleb, with tax and effort. But uh, the Batman and the Batmobile pop, super cool. No. And then, last, I think, but not least, the Pièce de Résistance. I think that's how you say it. Walgreens, this came so fast. I think it was like a day and a half. Remember, don't cut towards yourself. Woo, got a little scary there. Getting in a rush here. Let's drop that. And that is, I bought two of them just in case one was jacked up. This bad boy went on sale at Hasbro Pulse and it was gone instantly. It's been out in Malaysia and overseas. And now it's finally going to finish my collection. And that is the in space silver ranger with zane up there i just i this figure is so awesome dude the the shine on that and everything the gold and everything i just cannot wait i can't wait to get his astro glider all painted up and them all flying throughout space man dude this figure is super sweet can't wait to do um an unboxing with those when i probably do the glider all at once so so stay tuned for that hopefully soon as soon as i get those gliders i will get to work I hope I didn't miss anything. If so, I'll cut it in there somewhere. But uh, did you guys get any of these sales? Did you do the power up? Did you do the target right there? Did you get anything good from Walmart recently? Uh, you let me know. I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more collection and custom videos. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.